Hello and welcome to Kismet Rising. So today we're using uh, the answer is simple oracle cards by Sonia Shaket um, to do the weekly oracle card guidance. And we have three options here today. Uh, we have this here, which is um, Rodo uh, Crosite, I think it's called. I'll put that in the description box. And we have the shell. And uh, we have here an apricot um, agate, uh, apricot agate, that's what it's called. So um, yeah, go ahead, make your selection, and I'm going to go ahead and begin the reading. Okay, so for those of you who've chosen the first option here, which is rhodochrosite, we're asking, what is your weekly oracle card guidance? And the card we have here is the number 32. The caption reads, speak with love. So, um, yeah, I feel here that if you have a week where you might be in conflict with someone or you might be, you might disagree with someone about something or you might have um, particularly uh, strong opinions on a particular subject, then you need to remember to speak with love um, as you go along. So if you have um, quite a, you know, a strong opinion with regard to anything, uh, you need to consider the other person's opinions as you speak and as you share your opinion or as you consider them and perhaps, you know, not be overly judgmental about whatever it is that you feel and whatever it is that you you speak about. It feels here that people that you may encounter in this week may feel a little bit vulnerable, may feel a little bit weak um, in a sense that they're not at their strongest self. And the guidance here is to take into account that person and where they may be coming from. So give them the benefit of the doubt as you're dealing with them in this week because uh, give those, uh, whoever it is, the benefit of the doubt because you don't know where they're coming from and what they're actually dealing with and what they may be going through. I feel like um, the, 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 the message here is that, you know, you're all going through a particular space. You're all going through a particular a transition or um, some kind of journey together and you might have different opinions or you might you might have uh, some disagreements with each other but you all need to just buckle down for for what actually is going to come through or what kind of changes are about to to take place I feel here that there may also be um kind of other people observing how you behave at this moment and so it's necessary to look at how you um, behave or how you might be role modeling or what um, what what is actually taking place so it's almost like you need to just pay more attention to the way you are behaving or the way you're speaking because you're being observed and there are others who are learning from you or taking from you and in a way that they want to emulate you or be like you in some kind of way and so it's important to um, treat others the way that you would like to be treated but also be aware of how that how others may be feeling at a given moment I feel here that the card, um, the caption, speak with love, can apply at any given moment in time. And, you know, we should always try to speak with love. Of course, it's not always possible. We are not always perfect and we can't always, um, we, we, I think it's it, the, the general average person struggles with speaking with love all the time. Um, but in this week, that is your information. That's what you're guided to do, to just speak with love, because that is the one thing that's going to help you as you go along in this week. It's going to be the one that, uh, thing that you kind of, um, kind of helps you to, to bridge the gap between yourself and others and also to uh, understand, to reach halfway to the other person, to understand their perspective. And you might not always agree with them or you might not always take their position, but it's it's okay to express yourself and it's important for you to express yourself, but do so with love. So also, if you are thinking of beginning a podcast or beginning some kind of um, YouTube channel, perhaps, or any kind of other channel where you're thinking of expressing your opinions, the advice is to actually uh, do so with love, do so from a place of uh, compassion and love and um gentleness almost all right so i'm going to leave you uh with that and um yeah i just i want to say that it, 
I feel like there's one more thing here. I feel like, you know, your journey is not yet complete. Um, it's like you, uh, the way that you, the way that you're on right now, the path that you're on right now is not really complete. It's, there's still a way to go and there's still some kind of um, guidance that needs to come from you but it's not yet the right time it also feels to me like there's a lot of influences in you right now there's a lot of different things that are coming at you right now and you haven't really understood your own perspective where you stand really and what it means to be who you are right now or what your real perspective is on a particular situation and so it's almost like you know you need to speak with love not just for other people but for yourself as well because you might find that as you go along your opinions change apart a particular subject or your stance changes with regard to a particular set of circumstances that you are faced with in this week all right so i'm gonna leave it there and i hope that message helps you um let me know as you go along in the week how that comes to play in your life i'm curious about that all right good luck with that so for those of you who've chosen the second option here, which is the shell, we're asking the question, what is your weekly oracle card guidance? And we're using quite a nice, simple deck today. Colorful and lovely. So for those of you who've chosen the, se the second option here, which is the shell, the card is uh, the number 24 and the caption reads create. Now, how many of you are feeling creative this week or have been feeling creative um, in the last week or found that you need to create in order to express yourself more so than you usually do? Let me know down below in the comment section. I feel here in this week as you go along that creation is not for what you create. It's not for what others see. It's not for what others um, are exposed to as a result of your creation but it's very much about you connecting yourself it's about you in connecting to your own self and as you find that you create what's going to happen is that um, you're going to feel like there's it's almost like a kind of healing for you where you're going to have some kind of insights and you're going to have some kind of flashbacks to perhaps uh, earlier times where you feel like healing is needed or you might have some kind of realizations which make you realize that you need to do something more to heal a, a certain aspect of yourself whether it's meditation or just simply to think about a particular uh, timeline in your life and I feel here that this um, healing is very much or this creation that you do is very much a means to connect you with your spiritual spirituality and to connect you with a part of yourself that has been needing attention for a while. I feel like it creates the attention, it focuses the attention on you rather than outward. So it's, it might be that, you know, you decide to draw something or you decide to paint something or you decide to make some music or you simply decide to prune your garden as in the, this picture here. But I feel that whatever it is that you are doing, whatever it is that you are creating, um, however it is that you're finding a way to give expression to yourself, there's going to be something a lot more in that, which is going to allow you to understand your yourself better as you go along and allow you to really uh, work with what needs to be worked on there's a sense that there's been a, an avoidance to actually uh, deal with what needs to be dealt with uh, to look at situations that need to be cared for and and dealt with and so you know the this week you have the option of being able to heal that or solve that those issues with creation and I feel like even if you just decide to do some scribbling on a page you're going to find that it's going to give you something more than you would get from this week uh, generally if you had to go about your normal routine or do whatever it is that you do I feel also here that um, as you create and also as you bring some of this emotion outside of you that you're going to find that you feel a little bit clearer in yourself and you're able to come to a point where you're able to make decisions perhaps it allows you to settle whatever unsettled feelings that you may have and it might help you to understand yourself better and what your your motivation is um, and what it needs to be in order for you to go ahead and to make progress for some reason, this card gives me the sense that 
you know, there are your ancestors are watching you or people who have passed on are watching you. And it's almost like you need to um, speak to those who have passed on or speak to a part of you who had a relationship with those who have passed on. And that is where some of that healing is going to come. That is where some of that understanding of yourself is going to come from. Perhaps there's been a part of you which has somehow died with that person that's passed on. And it's time for you to retrieve some of yourself from um, that soul and um, and take back what is yours and and perhaps uh, forge a different path for yourself. It it might be that some of you are feeling quite stuck as well in a particular area, and so I think that if you were to um, to take advice and connect with your ancestors, connect with those who have passed on, you're going to find that some of those answers come to you more easily as you go along in this week. Now, the last um, bit there doesn't necessarily apply to every one of you, but it certainly applies to some of you. Um, I feel that these three birds that are watching her here are like people who've passed on or kind of watching you and your progress and watching you um, like, almost like guiding you along or giving you support or strength from just holding a space for you. And I think that it's going to, whatever you do this week, it somehow has a relation to uh, expressing a part of yourself that has been buried away or hidden away and it maybe that doesn't have anything to do with your ancestors at all but or your people have passed on that you know but it does have something to do with healing yourself and giving an expression to yourself that perhaps you until now you have not been able to give yourself and I feel that this energy is very much related to the full moon that we're coming uh, up towards in later in the later on in this week all right well i hope that message has helped you it does feel like quite a load um of messages in there and quite a lot and it does feel like a very um healing time for you i have to say as well as a time where you can more easily express yourself than at other times or more easily express what you aren't normally able to express uh in your life all right so wishing you well as you go along and many many blessings so for those of you who've chosen the third option, which is the apricot agate, we're asking, what is your weekly oracle card guidance? So for those of you who've chosen the third option, which is the apricot agate, um, we have the card here, which is the number 15, and it says, open your heart. I feel as we go along in this week, what's more important for you than anything else is simply to diversify. It's to open your heart to that which is new, to that which you have not yet considered. And perhaps you would not normally consider. Perhaps it's something that you need to do to expose yourself to in order to uh, refresh your perspective on on matters. I feel here that you could open your heart um, a little bit more in order to be able to feel more lightness, in order to relieve yourself of some kind of heaviness or some kind of um, s s kind of stone energy. I feel like it's a stone that's kind of dragging you behind and just holding you back. And I feel like it, what the way in which to let go of these things, the way in which to progress at this moment in this week is simply to to open your heart in the way that you would as, as if you were a child to kind of uh, you know release yourself from any responsibilities that you may have if only in a moment that you take for yourself if only in a moment where you you have you know 10 or 15 minutes to yourself and you stop thinking about all the, the responsibilities that you have and all the things that you have to do and simply focus on opening your heart and making yourself feel more at ease with yourself than you usually do. I feel that there's a fear to be able to do this. It's almost like if you were able to, to successfully open your heart, then you need to give up a part of yourself, a part of your identity. It's a part of it yourself that you've been for so long. And it's almost like you will be needing to mourn a part of yourself. And 
the message I get here is that it's not necessary for you to hold on to that which you used as your defenses in the past. It's okay to open your heart and it's okay to be um, who you could have been. You know, it, the way they showed to me is that along the way your heart has closed up a bit and you need to get back to as you felt before your heart closed up a bit. And so you need to like, you know, take off those cloaks that you're covering yourself in and just release them and your load gets lighter as you do so and you just are able to breathe more easier than you were able to previous, previously and you just feel lighter as a result and so I feel like you know you need to practice that this week as you go along if I had to receive this card for myself I would um, you know spend every day this week just um, t spend a bit of time concentrating on opening my heart you know going into a meditation where I feel my way through and and try to open my heart and recognize what the resistance is in there if there is a resistance and as I open my heart try to feel what comes in that space what what have I not been allowing to come into my life at the moment so that is a kind of procedure that I would recommend to you and obviously you can just feel what is right for you and do what you need to do as you um, work along opening your heart in this week. So I'm going to leave it at that. I hope that that was a useful reading. And I hope that as you go along, that you are able to use these messages to make your week much more alive and much more filled with love and more filled with blessings. All right. So wishing you well on your week. And blessings abound from Kismet Rising.